Hi guys, it's Rick Storley. We're here with week five of the Ubix Fast Start Training. And this week we're going to be discussing some website tips for you on how to improve your lead capture on your websites along with some realtor strategies. So right now we're going to start with, with websites. And so what you see on the screen right now is I have a remodeling website on from one of our clients. And I'm also they happen to also have a home building side of things. And uh, so I'm going to go through a couple of the, of the must-haves, I should say, things that once your website gets reconfigured and you launch your program of things that you need to be cognizant of, you know, keeping up to date. This is the most important information that we find that your prospects are looking for. So we'll start with the homes side of things. So home builders, uh, uh, let's pay attention. First of all, photos. Always make sure that you are putting up professionally taken photos and I recommend that in your photo gallery you break it down one of two ways this builder broke it down by room size or I should say by room type so we have bathrooms bedrooms we've got some great rooms kitchen dining uh, lower levels and then we get into exteriors and so on and so forth the other way to do it is to break it down by say the name of your model home if you have specific model homes or if you're a custom builder and you want to do it by say home completed address just make sure that they are professional photos and you consistently are taking them. <clears throat> Secondly, on your locations, some of you are going to be, say, uh, building more scattered lot, and so you're going to have a, more of a service map. For those of you that are building in particular neighborhoods, you're going to want to have a list of your neighborhoods and make sure these are kept up to date. Your design library is next. Now, the design library. Uh, you know, I recommend maybe breaking it down by home type. So if you have, let's say, a ranch home, uh, this particular builder, or a ranch home versus a two-story versus a split level versus a story and a half, that sort of thing. This particular builder builds both association maintained and single family, and then they have association maintained attached and detached. So we built an index page here so people could easily navigate to there. But your design library, make sure you keep them up to date. As you develop new plans, which you should be doing on a regular basis, get them into your design library because that's where the majority of your prospects are going to spend their time. If your design library is non-existent or poor, the lead capture tool here, as far as looking for plans, if you've purchased that, um, that's not going to perform uh, as well. And then finally, available homes. Uh, available homes is very, very important for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's going to allow people to self-qualify themselves as it relates to price. Number two, it's very important in that uh, even if you don't have existing inventory up, put to be built there. And the reason this is so important is because you get a certain percentage of people that think they're not willing to build. And so if they see that you have nothing available, they're going to discount you and they're going to move on. But if they think you have something available, even if it's a to-be-built, they may change their mind down the road and they may build with you, even if you don't have standing inventory. So again, I recommend three to-be-builts per project. So again, if you have four neighborhoods, you should have 12 available homes in here. And the to-be-builds, remember, you don't have to have a specific price like on the MLS. You can have a price range. In fact, that's a good way uh, to do it. Now, if you have available homes on there, obviously make sure they're up to date. Uh, I recommend that if they, once you get a purchase contract on them, is to mark them as pending, and then keep a few solds in there as well, so people can see that you are you are selling stuff. Let's take a look at remodeling next. All right, so on remodeling, I'm on the home page here again, and one of the things you'll notice right away is uh, I recommend you do a, a home page builder video, and there is a link for information on how to do that on this page. Uh, the video should be approximately three minutes long and it's really an introduction to your marketing message. In this case, it's breathing new life into your home and your positioning statement. It should have the owners, the principals of the company on there. Uh, if you have your interior designers, it'd be a good place to have them and also you should have a testimonial. So this particular uh, builder here would be a good sample of a, uh, of a home page video for remodeling. Okay, so for remodeling, we're going to have a services page, we're going to have a photos page, a service map. Uh, we do have a blog here as well, but these are the three main things I'm going to be focusing on. First of all, on the services page, pretty simple. What type of remodeling services are you focusing on? In this case, the builder is focusing on five. 
different remodeling services. The nice thing about the remodeling services page is that it allows you to tell a story. So as an example, for a kitchen uh, page, you can take a sample of a kitchen that you did. In this case, there was before and after uh, photos that we can show. And you can put testimonials in here and more or less tell the story of the client that you did the project for. Now with photos, same thing as home building. With photos, you want to break it down by project. So we've got, again, these categories match what we have for our remodeling services. And then finally, your services map. Very important you tell people where you are and aren't, and aren't building. So in this case, this particular developer, builder, excuse me, sort of drew a, a line in the sand per se and says, hey, this is where we're willing to travel. And then from a search engine optimization standpoint, they listed some of those key cities that they want to build in, which you can do the same, the same here. Uh, we also have a call to action that if you, hey, if you're not sure if your address falls inside or outside of this, click here and they can talk to Mike, Mike and we go to the talk to page. All right, next, let's take a quick closer look at the talk to page. Most of you are going to have a talk to page. And so one of the things we recommend doing is recording a video or an audio with this talk to page. Uh, the talk to page is designed just as that, is that people can schedule a time to talk to you with their convenience. So if they're not willing to pick up the phone and call you right away, uh, and, and they're not willing to send you an email from your contact page, but they want to talk, then go ahead and schedule that time and then you can confirm it via email. So one of the things I recommend, which this builder doesn't have, is a audio or video file on your talk to page. And I'll just give you an example of what that looks like. Alright, so here's a talk to page for another client. This is a home building client. And uh, what we've done is we've got the picture again of Pete. So they're going to talk to Pete. And then this is an audio file. So Pete recorded this, which is a script that I've got uh, on this page for you. It's about 1 minute and 17 seconds. And it more or less tells people what they're going to get when they talk to you. And there's a couple of important reasons you want to do this. One is the person more or less gets to meet you virtually before. So they're more likely to say, oh, hey, Pete's a nice guy. Um, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll confirm my, my appointment. Number two is, uh, even if they don't have, if you record just an audio file, which is fine, you don't have to do a video, but even if you record an audio file, uh, hearing your, your voice allows them to hear uh, what we call tone of voice, which is you know part of your communication. So again, adds again to the comfort level. So they get some sort of a visual at a minimum of photo here, and then they get an audio to go with it. So they're you know more likely to go ahead and set up a time to talk to you. Hey, that's it for website tips and tricks. Uh, hopefully you got some good ideas here. And again, there's more resources right below the video. Talk to you soon.